What's going on, y'all? Michael here again, KO Kid Fit Man. And today we're checking out that boy Logan Paul, man. You know, he's fighting Floyd Mayweather this weekend, June 6th. So I figured, why not check out his, his training, man? See what's going on, man. See, you know, is he really good or, you know, has he gotten better? Because last time when he fought KSI, he was he was straight trash. And, uh, you know, just basically, just like what my boy uh, Comic Book Sports said, man. You're a fucking dumbass if you fucking think Logan Paul is going to beat Floyd fucking Mayweather. In no way, shape, or form do I think that Logan Paul has a shot at beating Floyd Mayweather. People are saying, yeah, he's got power, he's big, all this, all that. Well, I mean, of course he's gonna have power, he's a huge guy, but I mean, he's still not, he's not on Floyd Mayweather's level at all. Last time, if you watched the KSI fight, he was gun shy and he got beat up by KSI, which KSI is trash. If we wanna be frank, KSI is trash, man, I hate to, Hate to burst anybody's uh, bubble that loves KSI. You know, there's a whole bunch of people that's just blind followers of everybody out here. But KSI cannot fight. He might be a cool YouTuber and everything like that, but he cannot fight. I've never watched his content. Maybe I should check it out. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, check out this here video, man. See what uh, you know what it is. The video is named uh, "I Box Four People at the Same Time," man. And you know these guys like to pick out the the best highlights that they've got from each little section but uh you can't hide from me real fighter you cannot hide from me and if you're a real fighter you're gonna know that you can't hide that either and uh if you're a regular guy that's looking to get into boxing then uh maybe we'll be able to give you some things or point out some things that he's doing good and point out some things that he's probably doing that's like what the hell but uh yeah man go on like comment subscribe and let's get to the video out to Tampa for Wrestlemania. Yes, the rumors are true. I got uh, dropped by Kevin Owens. Like a <laughs> Not the first 30 seconds, George. We're going to get the amount of time. <laughs> but also in Tampa, I have some friends. You might have seen them on my podcast, Impulsive, or perhaps even the Super Bowl. The Gronkowski brothers. Now, in preparation for my fight against Floyd. Whoa. Weather, the <laughs> what was that? Let me go back and see that again, man. Oh, my God. Now, in preparation for my fight, <laughs> did y'all see that? Did y'all see that bag work? He just <laughs> that was bullshit right there, man. So yeah, that that was uh, definitely not looking good. I mean, Logan Paul, his physique looks amazing, obviously, but uh, that doesn't transfer anything into boxing, man. You know, Floyd Mayweather has got that super flat chest, as we can see here. Uh, his body's pretty much it's pretty regular, pretty uh, pretty pedestrian, man, for the most part. But uh, we know Floyd Mayweather got them skills to pay the bills, and that's what matters in the ring. Let's keep going. The greatest fighter on the planet, which, by the way, is taking place on... Don't know the date yet. <laughs> they didn't tell me yet at the time of shooting this video, but now it's taking How? place on... June 6th in oh, Miami sorry. at the Hard Rock Stadium. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be sparring... That's going to be a fun place to fight, Miami. Four of them, one per round, but not letting me fight a round. You got Super Bowls to win or whatever. But the other four, Len, Chris, Gordy, and Dan, they're all huge. Hurt, like, talking to them. Like, I think you stack them on top of each other. All right, man. This is, I guess this is like this is trash sparring composition. I mean, opposition, but I guess this like fits for Logan Paul because like these guys aren't fighters. He's not a fighter, so why not? You know, get in there with these guys instead of getting in there with somebody because a, a real boxer is gonna probably try to fight Logan. Gonna probably try to hurt him if you want to be real. He's gonna try to hurt him because he's gonna feel like, yeah, who's this little rich kid? Who came in here and got this opportunity that I've worked all my life for? I've had I spent time not being able to eat. I have spent time not being able to have money, whatever, man. Just like just because I've been trying to get the dream going, and this guy just man, whoever, whoever uh, got him into the position, man. Just like I said, if you follow my other page, man, it's 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 essentially not really about uh, you know hard work. It's more so about like who you know and what kind of networking game you've got, man. And uh, so make sure that you're out here networking and not playing around. They're statistically like 50 feet tall. They're basically a cyborg. Just to warm up the ass kicking with Floyd Mayweather, you want to get your ass kicked by the Floyd Mayweather. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. As I prepare for my fight against Floyd, I'm going to be doing a lot of boxing content. So obviously, you guys haven't seen me spar or do anything Drop his hands. related in a year and a half. This whole time, we've been sharpening these blades. So please hit that subscribe button. It's crazy. Let's go. Rob Brown Rousey is massive. He's been 66 since 18 years old. Big and can't fight. What a shame. Up. <laughs> right. 
only thing is, it, 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 it's 90 seconds, bro. Yeah. It's a strategy. This is a, a fresh guy. I mean, they don't get tired and can just swing for two minutes. Okay, they're doing a little shark taking. For anybody that doesn't know it, uh, shark taking is basically uh, you get in the ring and a fresh guy gets into the ring every round or whatever time period that y'all have that y'all want to switch it up, man. That's basically what they're doing here. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good way to get ready for a fight, man. So uh, if you if you're in the gym and you got some guys that are that are willing to do it, man, go ahead and uh, let them shark tank it, man. See what you got. So you got like an uh, uh, apron on? I make my own rules too. I may throw a haymaker or something in there. So you never know. Yeah, I feel good, man. I, I don't think anyone's really going to win today. I think it's going to be a good matchup. We got some extra power, the length and everything like that. But he's got the expertise. So it's going to be interesting. I don't know if it's confident or what. But we know we're athletic. We know we're strong. When he looks at us, we tower over him. That doesn't mean a thing in boxing. I'm going to go in there and give it everything I have. I do not want to leave that ring laying on the ground. My brothers get a hold of him. They throw a haymaker in there. Shoot, he might not be able to see for a couple days. All right, man, hurry up with the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome today to our boxing extravaganza. We have a magnificent card lined up for you all today. One that will include much bloodshed. This will be a four-round fight with each round consisting of a different Gronkowski brother. Alright man, first man, I want to check out man the fact that Logan Paul keeps his hands low. I understand that he's fighting lower tier opposition right now, but they, the way that you practice, the way that you're going to play as they say, or I mean like in this in this uh, scenario man, the way that you're sparring is the way that you're going to fight man. So you shouldn't practice bad habits when you're in there man, just because the opposition is easy. You shouldn't be in there with easy opposition anyway, which is a bad idea anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Straight garbage. Yeah, he's not gonna win with that with that uh that strategy right there, the overhand right, and the uh, he's gonna shoulder roll that. Flubber is gonna shoulder roll that, and then he's gonna shoulder roll the hook again, and it's gonna be missing all night. Alright man, so he's gonna try to do the hands down thing with Floyd Mayweather and that shit's not gonna work, man. So let's hope he doesn't do that in a real thing. Huh. Wrestling. This is another bad habit that he has, man. Even when he's up close, man. If you've noticed, man, a lot of people like to emulate Floyd Mayweather's style, but he keeps his hands up when he's far away, and when he gets close, he has his hands up. During this whole thing, I've not seen Logan Paul pick his hands up, not really one time unless he's punching. And uh, I guess it's like a little bit of arrogance and bad habits, but uh, that's not a good idea, because even when he's up close in a firefight, he's got his hands way low, which is idiotic. He's gonna get touched up, picked apart by Floyd Mayweather, easy.
Still not picking his hands up. <laughs> wow. They're dropping like flies. Man, I'm not really impressed by this spar here, man. He's sparring a Gronkowski brother. These are basically just regular guys with that are big, so it's not impressive at all, man. Like I said, man, uh all the muscle and all the great physique means nothing. It's about the skills. Logan Paul clearly doesn't have any skills. And uh, the Gronkowski brothers obviously don't have any at all. How about you, Rob? Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the temperature in this room has picked up a bit. We have the prettiest of all the Gronks entering the ring. Gordon Gronkowski! Sir, he got a chain on while he's boxing? Rob, I knock out your brother, I'll get tickets to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's the end of the spar, man. I'm not going to listen to what they have to say, man, because it's really, uh, really essentially nothing. But, uh, yeah, basically, uh, you saw the habits that he had. He drops his hands low the whole time. He basically throws wild looping shots, uh, overhand rights, hooks. And it's not in any, like, special, I guess, combination or anything. I guess it's, I don't know, overhand right, then hook. And it's like, it's all leaping. So he's leaving himself over, man. He's keeping his hands down the whole time. He's sparring lesser opposition. And he's gassing his head up, making him feel like he's ready for the fight. Giving him that, that false confidence that you don't need when you get you're going in there with somebody like Floyd Mayweather. So, uh, all in all, I think uh, I think Logan Paul's gonna get his ass whooped. I think Floyd Mayweather will definitely try to carry it because the people are gonna pay money for it. But uh, he's definitely gonna get his ass whooped. I think I hope Floyd Mayweather does knock him out. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna finish him to make it exciting. But. Yeah, he's not going to win at all, man. If you think Logan Paul's going to win, you're just an idiot. That's all I have to say for you right there. Um, yeah, man, but uh, yeah, don't don't be like Logan Paul as far as your boxing skills. Don't spar lesser opposition because that's not going to get you in there, get you ready for that. Don't keep your hands down and spar and make it bad habits because that's going to have you looking bad in a fight or worse, getting knocked out. And uh, yeah, man, I guess, uh, I guess network, man, because you got guys like Logan Paul out here fighting the best in the world and... Uh, you're sitting at the house trying to figure out how you're gonna eat. But yeah, man, that's it right there, man. Y'all gonna check out the, uh, y'all check out the rest of the video, man. I'm gonna keep on dissecting videos like this, keeping up the workouts, and uh, having my own clips in there, man. And y'all let me know what y'all think of those, and I'll see y'all next time.